Red light cameras keep us safer. Compassionate companions at Tampa General. And the Rays even things out for Game 5. Florida Focus starts now. News from the region and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Shana Johnson. Today is October 11, 2010. Cameras are keeping some of the Bay Area's busiest intersections safer. Red light violations in Temple Terrace have decreased and the city credits the cameras installed at the intersections of 56th Street and Bullard as well as 56th and Fowler Avenue. Over 16,000 tickets were issued to red light runners in 2009. As of July, 4,800 violations have been issued, only a quarter of last year's total. After winning games three and four in Texas, the Rays have returned home for their final in the ALDS. Reporter Shari Armstrong has more in the newsroom. That's right, Shayna. The Rays came through in the clutch and tied up the series against the Rangers. Game 5 begins tomorrow night at the Trop, and excited fans are expected to flood the place. An additional 5,000 seats will be available for purchase at all ticket outlets. If the Rays win, they'll advance to the AL Championship Series against the New York Yankees that would begin on Friday. Even history gets a makeover. A quaint Victorian house wedged between the Selman Crossdown Expressway and Bank of America is the headquarters of the Tampa Historical Society. Built in 1890, the home on South Hyde Park Avenue was owned by Peter O'Knight, known for helping develop Davis Island. Thanks to the Hyde Park Neighborhood Association and other resources, this piece of history will be restored. A new program at Tampa General Hospital connects volunteers with terminal patients for a special mission. Reporter Corey Campbell has more. Medical institutions are growing more aware that people are dying alone in hospitals. Tampa General launched a new program, Compassionate Companions, that has about 20 volunteers. The purpose of the volunteers is to make sure that no one dies alone. The patients may be transient or estranged from their families or simply outlive their relatives. Other hospitals have followed Tampa General's lead in starting similar programs. Thank you, Corey. There's a new addition to the SeaWorld family. A killer whale calf was born to Katina. Vets say that both whales appear to be healthy. The calf is the 16th whale to be born at the park. Thanks for watching Florida Focus. We'll see you tomorrow.